Did you see this thing that came out um, where they were talking about, um, like, the salaries of some of the WWE stars? When they were talking about what? The salaries of the of the WWE stars. Salaries? Yes, yeah, salaries. Back when we were there? No, no, right now. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, no, I didn't, I didn't see it. Okay, how much do you think they say Dean Ambrose made uh, last year? Um, who, I mean, where's this information coming from first? Forbes. I, I have it pulled up here in Forbes okay. magazine. Huh. I think, I think it ended up coming out as part of and the ju- disclosure in the, uh, because they're publicly traded. Oh, the pu- okay, okay. Uh, and just so you know, he was, he, that- he, he, let me just throw this one in there. He performed at 194 events, okay, 12 yeah. pay-per-views and 109 house shows. I think he was a guy that worked the most, actually. But yeah. go ahead. A million? And, and before, and before Sean Right around just, a million. Right around a million, a little under or, or, or a little more. And let me just throw in there, guys, that Forbes states their earnings numbers are estimates on the 2016 calendar year based on WWE public filings, booking contracts, pay documents, and interviews with industry insiders. But in other words, it's not, as I said, it's not a fact strictly from right. financial records. There's a bit of analysis in it. Sure. And and, and, and I'm going to say maybe one to two, in between one and two. Uh, 2.7. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. Taker. Oh, come on. Um well, and without working that much, probably five, ten. It says here two. Okay. Uh, well, Shane. I'm way off, man. Here's, that yeah, shows you how bro, much I, I know was, about I, how I much guys are making up. I was off on all of them, too. Believe me. Um, how much do you think Shane McMahon made? For one match? Well, that, that really, the general I manager what, stuff he's been doing in a pay-per-view appearances. A couple million? Yep. Two point two. Yeah, yeah. Roman. Most money Reigns. I ever made one match was my match with WrestleMania versus him. Yeah. Against who? Against Shane. Shane. I, yeah, that's yeah. A great match. Uh, Roman. Uh, I'm gonna say he sells the most probably, T-shirts. By the way, the most merchandise. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna say about four or five. Uh, Three point five. Okay. I'm gonna give you two last ones. AJ Styles. Mm, a million. 2.4. Good for him, man. Brock Lesnar. I just, I only, I only just said a million. Not that he, he's not a bigger money player than that. It's yep. just that it takes a while for that money to start trickling in from merchandise and all that. Yeah, you know I know. What I, mean? I, I, I was very surprised. I was thinking a million too, uh, Sean. I was very yeah. surprised. And, and great. Yeah, it always, I, huh? What's sorry, I was going to say, it, 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 I had always heard when he first signed that he went in with a very high price that they agreed to, which in a way was a brilliant strategy because it almost guaranteed they were going to push him or give him an actual chance based on how much they had invested in him from, yeah. from his perspective. Yeah, that's how you do it if you can. And, right. and good for him because, you know, uh, at first when TNA started, you know, uh, having their huge problems, like WWE put out like they weren't interested in anyone. Remember? Right. Just kind of took all any kind of like starch out, you know, out of out of anyone's pants and and there and guys were just, you know, the thing is, is they're always interested in somebody that could draw that money. Whatever, I don't care what they say. So uh, AJ just went was the best in the world, where you know somewhere else. Right. Uh, okay. Know? Last last one. All right. Yeah. Um, Brock Lesnar. Hmm. Oh. This is wow. basically this is basically what he did, okay? He fought at six pay per views in 2016, including the Big Four, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series, and he also worked the big house shows in Toronto, New York, Mexico City, and Dallas. Five million dollars, bro! You're gonna be blown away from the, by this. What? Twelve million dollars. Okay. Wow. That's worth it. He's worth it. It's almost like a million dollars in appearance or something. I'm happy to see these guys finally getting some. some right. Check. I mean, not that guys weren't get good money there, but um, it's. I'm happy for the guys, for the fellas, you know. Right. Right. That's great to hear, man. 
uh, I just, you know, there's a lot of guys there that are struggling still, you know, and, 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 you know, the guys that are, are talented, uh, if they hang in there, man, it, it will come. Right. It will come. Let me tell you one thing that, that you don't yeah. know. You helped me so much because when I had that problem with our mutual friend and you told me, uh, I remember asking you, I go, would you forgive him if he did that to you? And you told me, yes. And I thought to yeah, myself, man. wow, if, if Sean is man enough to forgive him, so am I. And that helped me a lot, bro. I want to tell you because uh, like you and Ray have helped me a lot in that because you know me. I'm not the most compassionate yeah, man, in the world. But We um, help each other, Carlos, because, I yeah. mean, those things you talk to me about. Man, and, yeah. and the, the, you, know, you know, whether you're not that compassionate or whatever, man, you got a hell of a big heart because uh, you've been a good friend to me. Uh, and, and the thing is, Carlos, is, Man, I'm pretty sure you and I, yeah. and most of the people we know, have a lot of shit that uh, uh, we would like to forgive it for. Yeah. Um, and how, how do we how do we accept that, man? If we can't forgive others, I mean, I know that's really hard sometimes, right. but man, it's really important that we do that for ourselves. Right, right, because that's a form of letting go too. And it's just like, and it's but the thing is, is you can't just say I forgive you and it's done man it's just like you when you were preaching to me or not preaching but you know yeah. uh, trying to tell me how I need to forgive myself you know yeah. it's I can't just say okay I forgive myself and it's done oh, you know right. presto change yo right. so uh, yeah and you uh, said it the best it had to happen when it had to happen and that's how it yeah. happened and it was organic and now you're great yeah. bro and, and that's all I want bro I want you to be in a great place Scott you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Road dog, you know, our boys. And, you know, uh, Carlos, I don't, yeah. I don't, my daily life, and it's been like this for quite a while now, uh, don't go through life always on the edge of one to get messed up. Right. right. You know, and that's how most people do it once they have a problem, once right. they become a drug addict, man. They, a lot of guys and a lot of people we love and, and are very dear to us uh, are going through, and very well may go through the whole life like that constant struggle Bro, you know what time. i used to think you know what i used to think all the time and this is straight up i used to think when is he finally gonna when is he finally gonna break this vicious pattern of just beating yeah, himself up drugging himself up and beating himself up i hope he gets well before it happens you know what yeah, i'm man. saying because you know it was the same thing with scott like we all tried to help him but until he decided to get help, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, Carlos, uh, I'm happy to be able to tell you and everyone else, man, well, that yeah. day came. And yeah. uh, it's, I'm not going back. And oh. uh, even uh, some some of the zealous gentlemen at Customs, um, you know, uh, doing its best to, you know, uh, make it Harsh like your garbage. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm this incident that happened, man. You know, I uh, I sat in jail, Carlos, with a big smile on my face, man, uh, because you know I knew that you know first of all it's not true, and right. people will know that in the next few weeks. You know, right. and I don't I don't blame people for not you know. For, for going out, oh, yeah. Right, because be you're right. You're, you're, right, right, because your yeah. record of a responsibility has been well documented, and you've yeah. always fessed up to it, man. You've never, yeah. you've never given excuses. You've always been a man, yeah. and you said, "You know what? I fucked up, bro. I was high. I missed or whatever." The thing, man, that yeah. feels so good, Carlos. Yeah. Uh, is 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 you know, uh, out and this is my story, is man. I'm I'm really touched that so many people are uh, have faith in me now. Right. Right. You know. Right. Um, well, the people that and, know and, you know you're a good person, and they're not going to be disappointed, Carlos. Right. And uh, and um, but you know, I didn't, I wasn't going to let that. No matter if, if, no matter what, I wasn't going to let any of this uh, derail me, you know, or or get in my head. Right. You know, I sat in jail with a smile on my face because they can't, you know, uh, they can't bring you down. No, man, they can't. They can't mess with my head. Right. You know, of course I, I, I was happy. I did love the fact you had some cannabis chocolate bars. That was awesome. Yeah, and some capsules as well. Yeah. But it's part yeah. of your medical treatment, and you have a card in California, yeah, man. man. Tell me about what you've been doing, man. 
Well, as far as your your dieting oh, sorry, and you're going to the, sorry about uh, the sorry, yeah. sorry about the uh, the f bomb there. Don't don't trip. But uh, as far as you know, you've been looking great, and uh, you tell me, you said you've been going through therapy and all that. So let me. W- w- yeah. What do you What have you been doing? Yeah, man. Like, okay, that's just part of it. The yeah. uh, hypnotherapist, uh, Carlos. You remember uh, all these talks you used to have with me, man, about forgiving myself? I I finally did it, man. Yeah. 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 It. Yeah. Wow. What a different man. It's just like this huge. And I know it sounds cliche or whatever, man, but I don't know how else to put it, man. It's like the sheet weight. Well, well, shoot. let me let me let me tell people real quick because me and <laughs> yeah, Pac, me and Pac have a real uh, a real big pass. Obviously, we hung out in WCW a lot together because uh, yeah, we hung man. out. We lived Nashville. together, man. Yeah. Then we went to Mexico where we literally lived together in the same house. You yep. know, and it lot, was man. bro, and it, it was hard because I would see you go through all this rough patches with, um, yeah. you know, with whatever you were taking at that time because you wouldn't forgive yourself for all this guilt that you had inside of you. And yeah. I always used to sit down with you and I always used to tell you, bro, you have to forgive yourself. But until you do it yourself, you know how they say you can take the horse to water, you can't make a drink. Yeah, man. You know, you have to- I mean, you were, you were telling me the right thing, Carlos, and it was yeah. just it was just going to take – how long it took, man. And that's right. how long it takes for everyone, Carlos. Right. You know, right. we right. don't get it until we get it, man. Right. And just, and it was a long, it took a long time, man. And a lot of little, like, baby steps forward, man, and some steps back. Right. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, man, like, I come back, I came right out of, uh, from hanging myself, you know, um, and putting being dead. Uh, yeah. in, in a coma in, in Mexico City, uh, bro. You know, it was so it was so, it, it was so bad, uh, KG, that he had tried to hang himself from a balcony. I didn't like, try, man. I took a bottle did. of pills, washed it down with Bacardi, and did hang myself until I was dead. Yeah, and you know, and, and Alicia brought me back, uh, bro. She was on she, the phone with me when this was happening. You know, yeah, and uh, and so. Uh, you know, he was in Mexico. I'm in San Diego. His girlfriend's telling me he hung himself. I thought she was kind of bullshitting me. She was like freaking out, and I could tell he did. And when I saw you, I was so sad, bro, because you had literally busted all the blood vessels in your eyes. Remember? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. I, I don't think anybody that ever st- that saw me at that point uh, will, will ever forget it. You know? Yeah, well, Nash came in. It was, hard, it was hard for people. It was hard for people. To even look me in the eye, Carlos, I had to put, you know, sunglasses on because my eyes looked like the devil, you yeah. know, they yeah. were just, they were, they were just completely red. Uh, no, but yeah. I, I, I'm so, so I came so right back so... into that, man. I, I came right back from when, they, when I got out of that place and I had a great, great stay at that, at that uh, Menninger Clinic in, in Houston, you know, right. when Kev came, when Nash came down and, you know, brought me up there. Right. Uh, and, you know, but I came right back and jumped right back into this, you know, right into that apartment, man. Where did I go? Right back into that apartment, man, where I hung myself, Yeah, you know? Uh, and it's just, so it took a while, man. And, and Carlos, you know, I even right at the end there, you know, when I, uh, when we had that Christmas show and I, when I got lost like for a day or so, like yeah. in, in my, uh, was it, uh, psychosis? Not mm-hmm. Nietzsche, but uh, other psychosis mm-hmm. uh, actually came in and found me, man, and, and got yeah. got me out of TJ. Because yeah. I, like, I stumbled back in the mess, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know? And, so, and that I was a good thing, man, that era, that, you know, uh, the TNA thing happened with, uh, with uh, you know, Kevin Scott, and they asked me to come in there. It, it got me out of I needed to get out of there at that time. Right, right, right. You know? And so, like, like for example, this uh, hypnotherapy that you're telling me about, what does that do, or what do they do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. I don't want to go through the whole, like, history, because a lot of people already know. But uh, Yeah, no, no, no. But, yeah, but, no but, the, but, but, but let me just say real quick. The main thing is, and, you know, you've all been super, super open, just like me, bro. You know, we'll own yeah. up to it, and we'll admit if we're wrong, and we'll admit when we mess up. So, you yeah, know, you were, you, you were super messed up in Mexico on all sorts of shit, and to yeah. the point where you, where you did have yourself you know and yeah. uh, uh bro and let me tell you man i probably would have hung myself if you weren't in mexico to you know keep me keep my head above the water because it was so hard to 
to, to live there with no it money, just, a drug yeah. problem, a virus, a national, a national virus where you literally couldn't congregate in a movie theater. You couldn't congregate. Oh, like, yeah. The, 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 the swine flu thing. Yeah, the swine yeah. flu thing. Yeah, oh, it right. just destroyed. It was, it was full yeah. crap, too. Yeah. It wasn't even, it, it was a, I, I didn't know anyone. I didn't meet that anyone that knew anyone that had it, Carlos. You know, when I got the swine flu in the States, Later on, like a long time later. Yeah, um, and everybody, and bro, and here's the worst part, and you know, you talk about conspiracies, but it was like a very well-known, like uh, popular view that medicine companies had uh, concocted this so people would buy yeah. the vaccines. Sure, and everybody man. got rich, and yeah. So, so it's you, easy, so, it's it's easy to it's it's easy to believe that, man. Yeah, the politics it's hard, of it's, fear, yeah, controlled by it's, fear, hundred percent. Yeah. And so, so, uh, so you were, so, you know, you were really messed up and you were having a lot of problems. And for me, bro, it's great because you, we went through the same thing. Like even with road dog, remember how messed up he used to get sure. and how, how good he's yeah. looking now. And I'm glad that you're doing great. So the main thing is he was in a really, really bad place mentally. And now he's in a great place because I look at your pictures, bro. Yeah. Mentally, there's no way mentally, mentally there, and physically Conan. Cause yeah, I, I was with Sean at the, the cow palace this past weekend. And to me, he's in like the best shape I've seen him in, in mad, mad years, just ripped. I got I numer- numerous contacts from people, like people hitting me up even like today, right before this interview being like, man, Sean Waltman is a beast. I can't believe the shape that he's in. Yeah, man. Uh, do you credit some ever. of that Sean to the paleo diet or is, or is it, or is it, or is it, yeah. well, it's the, well, well, it is the diet, man. It's and, and I don't like to call it the diet because it's just how I eat now. You know, uh, how do you, you guys eat? There? Well, what's a paleo diet or whatever it's called? Well, I just I, I don't eat. Uh, I keep the carbs to to a minimum, man. My carbs, my carbohydrates come from right. green green vegetables and mostly raw. Right. Uh, sometimes you know, cooked too. That's fine, but mostly raw, uh, ideally. Uh, right. And and just man, a lot of beef, man. I love the beef. Right. You know? <laughs> and I and and, and he likes Carlos, that cock. I, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you tricked me into saying that. Anyway, I am what I am. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, no, but I, uh, you know, and and the other thing is, I cook my meals just as much as possible. Right. Uh, and it feels good to cook your meals, bro. Carlos. You, here's one thing, X Pac, and we both know this as a shoot. There is absolutely no way that you can be looking that way if you weren't mentally, physically 100%. You That's know right. What There's yeah. no way. And, and here's the thing, man. I've taken growth. I've taken, te- I've taken all, like, you know, you know, steroids of different kinds. Not a bunch, but right. in the past, it never looked this good. Ever. Uh, Not even so you're close, clean. man. I, I thought you were on growth or something. No, man. I take a little bit of test. That's what I, th- that's wow. what I get. Wow. That's what you I get, great. and it's and great. it's just a little bit. Yeah. So your diet is basically a lot of beef from a lot of protein, high protein yeah. beef, some and, chicken and, and, and stuff. Get, but you know, right? And get your carbs from uh, leafy vegetables instead of um, you know bread yeah. or whatever, right? And a lot and a lot, just tons of fat, Carlos, and that's what's helping my brain too. Tons you know? of fat from like what avocado, nuts, what? Well, I yeah nuts. Uh, not so much avocado because I never liked the aguacate, you know. Right. Even though they put it on everything down in Mexico, but uh, so uh, kind of... yeah, that lime man. Why do they got to put lime in everything? But <laughs> limon. <laughs> bro, the so, worst no, thing in uh, Mexico, bro. The worst thing in Mexico is how they would put a chili pepper in everything. Remember? Uh, like you, yeah. like you'd, you'd eat a sandwich and they, no warning, chili pepper right in the middle. You know, it's yeah. like, Jesus Christ, warn them a little first. But, um, uh, okay, so there's that diet. Yeah, but the brain, then, man, the brain, the brain, is, it, it needs the fat. And I get right. this, I, I, I use this bulletproof uh, nutrition stuff. They send it to me, and it's amazing. Uh, and they make a, a XCT, it's like an MCT oil right. come, that comes from coconut oil. Right. And, man, it may, it's, it, it feeds the brain, and, and it, uh, and it, it's the best energy, man. And my body is like a hybrid uh, car. It burns it burns sugar and fat. Or uh, uh, some beets, man. I cut up some beets and put in my salad. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, and that's what you get. Yeah, that's man. it. Like, 
no no juice, no no anything no like juice, sugar man. based. Yeah, no juice, no uh you know, I, right, I no think coconut, coconut milk because I love I love dairy, man, but I it's it's not good for you. 